Well, good morning. Welcome to the Wild Gut Project. My name is Carrie, and this is a vegan, low fob map what I eat in a day video. So I started my day with, I have to say, a very, very nice breakfast. French toast, can't go wrong. These are all the ingredients you need. So first I put half a cup of almond milk into a bowl, as demonstrated here. And then a pinch of cinnamon, and then some blended up chia seeds that have been soaking overnight in some water, a dash of maple syrup, and of course a bit of vanilla for good luck. Stir it all together, and then I put in some sort of defrosted, lightly toasted sourdough bread. It's really important that you get it thin enough that the kind of sweet milk hides the sour flavour of the sour bread. But then as you'll see, one of mine fell apart, so soak it and then take it out of the milk. So I fried them in some um, coconut butter, or oil, sorry, you can see the fourth one fell apart. So yeah, dip it, take it out, fry it, enjoy. Here I had it with some strawberries, which are low FODMAP, and then some sugar that had been mixed with a bit of ground cinnamon. Very, very nice breakfast, went down a treat. Right, so that was my breakfast. I didn't film myself because I was all kind of in pyjamas and not really ready for the day. Uh, but now it's lunchtime and I'm going to make some, because I've got a bit of time, I'm going to make some roast polenta, some Mediterranean vegetables, I think maybe some, um, what's it called, pesto to kind of incorporate some nuts into the meal. And then I think, I'll have to check, I've got some leftover tempeh that I can fry up. So that will be the meal. Let's see how it goes. I'm just going to check how much polenta I can have, so that's 255 cooked. I'm going to make quite a lot because I know the roast stuff you can have just ready to go. And then it's 100 grams of tempeh. I'm going to use, got some walnuts to use, so those I can have 10 halves. So to make the polenta, I'm going to start off boiling some water with these herbs in. Bring that to a boil and this way all the herbs and um, the spice can really infuse into the water before I add the polenta. So meanwhile I'm going to toast my um, 10 walnuts, keeping an eye on them because I always burn them. Okay and um, now I'm going to put everything in a blender so I'll show you what I've got. So toasted walnuts and then in here I've got some kind of sad looking parsley, a couple olives and then I've got some Garlic oil I'm going to put in, a bit of salt and pepper, I'll just chuck those all in and blend it up. Just adding in a dash of vinegar as well. So the water is simmering really nicely and I'm going to put in some polenta. I'm going to add it bit by bit and stir in between so I don't get any lumps. That very quickly starts to thicken up. Keep it moving. Meanwhile, I've got a, um, a baking dish tray thing here and I put some cling film on it because we're going to pour it in as like a mould. At this point, when you want to um, season it to taste. I'm just going to put this aside for it to set. Okay, so while the polenta is kind of setting, I'm going to see to the vegetables. Um, I thought, well, I've already started cutting them, chopping them, cutting sounds a bit harsh, um, chopping them up, and um, yeah, I thought I'd show you the portion sizes because some of them you have to kind of actually measure out um, to be low FODMAP. So here I have 12 green beans, so that's one low FODMAP size. And then here I've got, um, oh, I should cut it off, that was a bad idea. Oh, here are the ends. The, this size of aubergine, you can have quite a bit of aubergine, but all together and then it was like that much courgette. And then some of the pepper. Um, and then I'm gonna cut up these a bit more and toss them with some olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, um, and some salt and pepper. 
Right, so I thought I had some leftover tempeh, but I didn't. Um, but I do have a fresh pack. Oh, it looks like brains. Right, so the packets that you usually find are kind of like this. And they last for like two months. So if you're ever going past a health food store, buy some and then like stock up because it's not that like easy to get. Um, but one packet is two portions. Okay, so the marinade I went for was the juice of a lemon, some sage, um, a little bit of salt and pepper, some garlic oil, sorry, garlic oil and then normal olive oil, just, just a little bit, mostly the lemon. And then I've cut up the tempeh into little pieces, so I know I've got um, 10 per portion, 10 pieces. Just going to... Take that and give it as long as possible to um, soak it up. Right, okay, so this is pretty solid now. So I'm gonna flip it out and cut it up into pieces to bake. Oven warming up to 200 degrees. So I slice that up and put it on a um, greased tray. And then I'm gonna pop this in as well into the oven. Right, so these, oh it's hot, it's probably not good for the camera. These are looking nice and crispy. And this under here is looking nice and cooked. So I think I'm gonna let that sit there, heats off and um, see to the tempo. I just added like a touch more water because I didn't want to add any more oil. Because you can actually steam tempo, it helps it cook. Good, I think I'm gonna plate up now. I'm gonna weigh these out. 225 grams all together. So my camera didn't save the videos I took, but I do have these two photos. This is how the meal turned out in the end. I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Oh, and I'm, I want to say, I'm sorry if you hear any heavy breathing. But I'm, um, I'm petting this guy at the moment. And that guy. <laughs> so sleepy. So I'm just having these as a snack. They were in my last video with all the um, snacks. So they're crispy, spicy chickpeas. I'm gonna have about half, and that's a low format portion. They actually get nicer the more um, time they have to dry out. So I also had some um, seconds of the polenta because there was quite a bit left over um, throughout the day, but I forgot to film that. Uh, now I'm gonna make some dinner. It's going to be not as a cohesive meal. So I'll, I just pick some stuff out the fridge and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've got. So I have a already baked um, potato that was in the fridge. I'm just gonna put that in the oven to heat up. I've got a little bit of leftover tomato salsa that I'm going to make into a sauce for the tempeh that I had um, left over from lunch. And then more green beans because if you can only have 12 at a time, you kind of need to have them in all your meals. And then some red cabbage, because you can have red, like a fairly decent amount of red cabbage. And then I've got some kale here that I've washed. Um, and then I will find a nut and a seed to go with this. Hello. I'm gonna pop that in there to warm up. So, olive oil heating up, marinated tempeh, pop that in, cabbage is so pretty. I put the passata and a bit of water in with the tempeh just to start cooking that up and making a sauce, as well as some sage and oregano and some soy sauce. I had to turn the sound off because I didn't realise it's actually a copyright issue if you have music playing in the background, don't want that, newbie error. I sautéed the beans and cabbage with a bit of asafoetida and then I wilted in the kale to the tomato sauce, which I've been doing a lot recently. It adds a lot of flavor somehow. And then I painted everything up and it all looks really gross because dark artificial light just doesn't make food look appetizing at all, but it definitely tasted really nice, I promise. And then I topped it with some toasted pumpkin seeds. So there's the finished product. I'm gonna go eat this and watch Mindhunter on Netflix because, because. I hope this has given you some 
inspiration. I'll link recipes and the meal making thing down below if you're interested. I'll definitely be doing some more what I eat in a day videos so subscribe for that. I know I find them very helpful to kind of understand what this diet looks like because it was weird. It's a weird diet. Yeah so I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye! That's really good. That is good.